Hi, I'm Elke Valovirta, and on this one I'm gonna check out the new Charvel Pro Mod Sandy Mars Style 1HHFR PF. Man, Charvel, you gotta come up with shorter names. <laughs> I need to cheat that. <laughs> okay. So anyway. <laughs> little bit noodling so uh, yeah first let's go through the signal chain so you know you know guitar into my pedal board now I had the human pedals amp driver on slightly boosting my 1959 hand wired modded plexi video there if you're interested you know what my amp tech Eric did to that I'm gonna also use a uh, ADI MP1 into Marshall JZ Mera 223 Zach Wildhead's uh, power amp. So, out from ADI to effect loop return for completely clean tones. And then I'm gonna use a 5152 boosted with TS808 for more modern high gain tones. All amps are connected via this KG Audio Electronics amp switcher. And then from the amp switcher goes to Friday power station. We're attenuating the signal a bit. Then it goes to my two cabinets. Today I'm using my Marshall 9060 BX cabinet and I'm miking one of the greenbacks 25M with Shure SN57 and SC Electronics RX or X1RXR. Anyway, SC Electronics ribbon mic. And then the signal goes to my new Universal Audio Apollo audio interface which is great, and I'm using the SSL 4000E Unison Mic Pre, which is, I mean, damn. And then it goes to Universal Audio's Luna recording system. Just want to try this out, <clears throat> seems to work great, sounds great, and so on. So that's the, the, the signal, signal chain. And uh, yeah, so first I think let's go through the specs. The bridge pickup is a Duncan JB TB4 and the neck is a 59 which is SH1N, three position toggle switch, single volume, no tone controls. The body finish is a distressed nitrocellulose lacquer, body shape Sandimas, body is Alder, bridge is a Floyd Rose 1000 series, double locking tremolo. What else? Uh, 12 to 60 inch compound radius, K length is your usual stretch style 25.5 inches, frets are jumbo. Fingerboard was something Pau Ferro. So I don't know what, what tree that is, but it's kind of to me, it feels and sounds like a like a rosewood kind of kind of thing, you know, maybe even towards maple, that, that, that bite. The tuners, which are labeled Charvels, this is made in Mexico. And yeah, so let's go, let's use the plexi and let's go through the, the pickups, how they sound and a little bit what I think about, the, about this guitar. So this is the bridge pickup. <laughs>
59 is quite fat and smooth and, and the JB is, is a high output, uh, lot, lots of bytes, really, really popular pickup. To me personally, it's a bit too, too hot, who would guess I say that, but, but uh, with passive pickups I usually or always prefer a little bit more on the lower out slash medium output side like uh, Duncan Custom or the 78 or the, the Slash set but I mean this is this is great it's just a lot of output you know and and uh, the Floyd is I mean the thousand series Floyds they are they are fine it's a little bit uh, rough on the edges compared to original Floyds or Shallows bridges. So I have a, on all my Floyd Rose equipped guitars I have original Floyds or a shallow Lockmeisters. The fine tuners are a little bit smoother and I feel it's, it's a little bit more uh, convincing but this works fine this keeps tuning really well and stuff too close to plexi <laughs> Just the plexi is uh, everything's on 10. <laughs> the high number one input, so it's quite loud. keeps the tuning really well. This is from Musics. I borrowed this. You know, thank you Musics. Link in the description. You can purchase this. The only thing I did this, this is brand new. I adjusted the neck relief, the, the string height. The strings were a bit too low for, on my taste. And uh, that was it. The intonation was, was pretty, pretty spot, spot on. So, and obviously stretched the strings like mofo. So then it stays into no matter what you do and this sounds really good like acoustically it was a lot of resonation and and you know kind of bossy and body sound great acoustic sound because as we all know electric guitar is just kind of like acoustic guitar if it doesn't sustain if it doesn't have you know bloom and it's not gonna because the the pickups like the name suggests they pick up the sound that you make with this and with the guitar so you know you is the is the key part of of, of a good sound or bad sound <laughs> everything else is just secondary okay uh yeah floyd this has, I needed to do this because the, the springs are usually all guitars comes with uh, other basic springs, not noiseless springs. I am always wonder that why you don't put noiseless springs in there because, you know, I always buy these afterwards and they're not expensive. So, and if a guitar company makes thousands of these mass productions, the noiseless springs will probably raise the price <laughs> that much that it means anything to anyone so this is either this if this will be my guitar i will change the, the springs and another thing that bugs me a bit because i can't access the to tighten this this is a little bit now clappy which means that it's a bit loose here so because here's kind of let me show you what i mean like on this guitar there's this even though I have the big L block, I still can access with an Allen screw to tighten the the base of the Floyd Rose. Because, you know, when you play a lot, if you do a lot of this, it will loosen. And it, it will especially loosen on Floyd Rose thousands, in my experience, because they are cheaper than original ones. So, what I would also do if this would be mine, I would just... Because there is room. There's just like this, and it's like, why? <laughs> so, in order to tighten the 
the Floyd Rose where this goes. This one, you need to take off the strings on the whole Floyd. That's a bummer. But yeah, okay, that's that. Uh, the volume control to me, it's too close. My hand hits here all the time. I, I don't really, because I can't remember if I know anyone at least who plays with a rock and metal with a bit heavier hand that likes the volume control here. I'm always moving it towards here because it's just on the way because when you like, you know, I mean, this guitar, I'm pretty sure this wasn't designed to be played like a, you know, <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, so it's a bit too close. I would put it here and then the volume, I would probably drill a, or the pickup switch, I would drill a new hole somewhere here because there's, there's room here, here, you know, put somewhere there and the volume there. This is just my personal preference and opinions. Yours may vary and probably will is. But the playability is great. The neck is really nice. It feels old in a good way. It's kind of the relic is great. It's like satin but kind of feels old. To my taste a little bit too thin. The, the guitar I just showed you it's a warm off body and warm off neck. The neck is a it's a bit thicker which I prefer. Uh, but the feel is great, the radius is great, the fretwork is great, there's no poking, nothing. And you know this may be different because every guitar is different. Maybe this this is just or apparently this is just a this is a good one because everything is really smooth, really well make, made. These these were busting because this guitar resonates so well. I really feel it that these were like rattling without me doing any whammy work. So, you know, just uh, some foam in there. And this, this, is, this is recessed. So if you want to have a drop tuner on this one, you need to carve out a space. Like I have done for my N4 here. And then, you know, if you want the drop tuner to work when you drop it, because the tension changes, you need to block block the bridge with a blocker but if you don't need a drop tuner and you prefer a floating bridge this is awesome okay so first i'm gonna now let's go through th some sounds so first the plexi then a just completely clean solid state channel of the ada so you hear the cleans and then more modern high gain with the 5150. The cabinet and the speaker and the miking is the same on all, all amplifiers. So the plexi first. <laughs> So all pickups, it cleans nicely. Great. Okay, then the ADA. Let's start on the neck pickup.
cool clean sounds, you know, the 59 being uh, a little bit more moderate output one and the JB, so stays really clean. Okay then, 5150, and let's use some delay also. <laughs> Anyway, the pickups really push like high output and this nice bite and so on. Conclusion. I think this guitar is great. The finishing, the the work, the fret work is great, not, not poking. The pickups work with this one to get the really, really bitey, you know, high gay sound. I gain almost with the plexi because these pickups really drive the amp. Uh, Truss rod is here, which is really handy. The, it feels like old guitar in a really good way. Joy, joy to play. My personal preferences are just that the neck is a little bit too thin, the volume is in the wrong place, and and because uh, I usually do drops because I I use in Siren on my solo stuff. There's a lot of drop songs back and forth. So all my Floyd guitars are non-reset, so they are on top. So it goes down and then I can put a Floyd. And except on the N4 where I card out this. But this is this is just uh, you know these I will change because these are, are really rattling. Th this helps quite quite well. But in general I think this is really worth the money. I believe, at least according to Charvel's website, these are like fifteen hundred dollars. That is whatever in the country that what is your currency. 
but uh, really worth worth the price. A great guitar, and if the volume knob is like where you want, you like the recessed Floyd. This is a bit loose. This this I don't understand why why you can't access to tighten the that without taking off the whole thing. But you know, for you this would be just the perfect guitar without changing anything, except maybe the these springs. Hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this interesting and informative. More information from Charvo's website and uh, links to music's site where this is from. Now I'm gonna return this, so when you see this video, this is already returned and you can purchase this exact guitar that I have set up. Take care, bye.